the worst thing you can do when you are trying to live a better lifestyle and, and make yourself greater, the worst thing you can do is tell people what you're going to do. Tell people what you go, what you're going to make happen. That's the worst thing you can possibly do. You know what I'm saying? Um, we live in a world nowadays, man, where everybody want attention. Okay. Have you ever been around people? They'd they be like, Oh, I know him. Yeah, I know. That's my, I used to hang out with him and oh man, I used to have this much money and I already had this. And yeah, I used to be, I used to do that too. And yeah, what do you do? I, I, I do the same thing too. And it's like, you ever be around people like that? They just talk and brag and brag and brag, but they don't really got nothing going on. It ain't really, it ain't really real. They just talking and trying to make you think that what you doing is less important than them because they, they know somebody that, that that's bigger than you. You ever been around people like that before? Where they do that at? And you be like, why you name dropping? Like, why you name dropping? They love to say, oh, man, I know Eric Bellinger too. Yeah, he came to my house and yeah, yeah. Man, man, you, are, man, you already know, man. That was my homeboy. Yo. Yeah. Yo, man, I remember he used to ride the bus. Yeah, man. He used to ask me to take him on the ride to, to work and stuff, man. I know him. You ever been around people like that? And you just be like, where they do that at? Like, damn. But see, the only reason why people be doing this is because they don't want you to feel like your success is better than their success. You know what I mean? They don't want to acknowledge that you are the chosen one. They don't want to acknowledge that you got some good things going on with your life. They don't want to say it. They don't want to say it. They want. They don't want to say, oh my God, you are smart. They don't want to say it. They never going to say it. They going to just always bring up people that they know or people that you might know and talk about how good they live. Yeah, he got a nice, his car nice. Yeah. He got it fully loaded too. Yeah. That's all they know how to do. And like I said, the reason why they do this is because it's a power struggle. All right. That's the only way they can keep themselves relevant as to being like a bigger person than you are. That's the only, that's the only thing that strokes their ego and make them feel like they doing something positive and good with their life too. That's better than you. Okay. Now remember folks, all this is to criticize you. All this is just to put you down make you feel bad, try to belittle you, and, and try to try to make you feel like you aren't confident, you aren't great enough to become successful. You know what I mean? This is what people do. It's called shade. It's called low-key shade. And see, one thing you got to understand, man, most people is just attention-seeking people. They just attention-seeking people. You know what I mean? They'll say, yeah, I do this and I, I sell that and, and I and I created this. And you be like, well, what the damn, what the customers at? Ain't nobody coming to the website. Yeah, but you know, that's my baby. That's my business. That's my baby. That's my baby. You got one product and you don't have the same damn product for five years. Ain't nobody bought it. Where they do that at? You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, a lot of people is attention seeking people all right the people they they don't really do the work they just try to get you to feel bad about your potential and your success by telling you things that they capable of but they ain't never doing it they ain't never accomplishing it and so that like i said you got to be aware of this man because you you gonna come across a lot of people like this the more you go on your journey the more you just become you know a much greater person Every single day, the more you become the, the greatest version of yourself, the more you're going to have fake people that they know what you're capable. They already know what you have accomplished in your life. They already have seen you do the work. They seen you go through the struggle. They seen you go through the tough times. They seen you have breakthroughs. They seen it. But like I said, they, they have a hard time stomaching the fact that you actually doing better than them. And this could be adults too. This could be people that's way older than you. You know, this could be people in higher places, like your boss, your manager, you know, uh, somebody, like I said, somebody that's just, just uh, got a better car than you or something. Or they might even have gifts and talents too that they are thriving off of. But they can't stand to see another person win who is they same race. You know what I mean? It, your own race will go against you because of that. It don't matter what color you is, white, Asian, black. It's some people out there, they don't want you 
since you are their same color to be better than them. And you'll notice it because, like I said, every time, every time y'all talking, y'all having a conversation about some real shit, you know what I mean? They gonna always try to make you feel like you don't know as many people as them or you don't you do not do the things that they know how to do and you know, you're just not putting up the numbers right. You're, you're not as productive as, you know, they're gonna, they gonna call you, they're gonna say you cheap and you know, they're gonna say you're not healthy and, and they're gonna say they're more healthy than you. They're gonna say, oh, don't eat the green apples because I looked it up and green apples are GMO. Why you why you mad at me and what apples I eat? You know why they mad? Cause you, cause you eating healthy. You know why? Because they know you eating healthy, you eating good, and you focused on bettering your health. You know what I'm saying? But they gonna say, oh, don't drink that kind of water because I did and I see that they do this and that do that and that is a plastic bottle. You need to use glass. Why are you mad at me? Because I'm just drinking water. Glass is better. Plastic is plastic is recycled and it, and, and it, 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 it runs into the liquid and you're still drinking dirty water. Why they do that? Eh? Man, give me my damn water. Oh, give me my water. No, you can't have none. That's what they'll do. Okay, that's why I be saying stop telling everybody everything that you're gonna do or what you're gonna make happen because I'm telling you that's when the game is gonna begin. Why? Because you told them something successful. You told them a plan about what you're going to accomplish and, and, and how you're going to start the business up and how you're going to get legalized and how, how you're going to become a, a doctor and, and you're going to school for it now. And th th as soon as you start telling people all the things that you're going to do, this is when the games begin. You'll start seeing them flaking on you. They'll start ghosting you, start texting back late. They'll start bringing up other people that's doing greater than you, that's more successful than you. They're going to do all this to undermine your own success. That's why I say stop telling people what you're going to accomplish and just make it happen yourself. I used to do that too. I used to talk to all my friends, tell them I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be this one day, and I'm gonna move here. And guess what? That only made them start acting funny towards me. That only made them not even want to hang around me no more. You ever had them days where your phone don't even ring, and you try to call people and just see if they live in it? You thinking about them and your homeboy? And you, and, um, sorry, your call has been forwarded to an automated voice. I know you just ignored it because it rung one time and went straight to the voicemail. These Decepticons so slow. They slow. <laughs> My phone they ain't had no service. Okay, well, why come when I call back again, it rung three times and then went to the voicemail? Your, it tells you your call has been forwarded to an automated voicemail. It's just dumb. It. Decepticons. Megatrons. If you don't want to talk to me, just say it. It's simple. Hey, man, uh, I don't like that you told me uh, that you're going to create your own uh, T-shirt. I don't like it. I don't know why I don't like it. It just it scares me. Decepticons. Decepticons. That's all it is, some Decepticons. Stop telling people everything you're going to do, folks, and just make it happen. That's what I started doing on my journey. You know, I would come in contact with friends and strangers and people all along my journey. Still do to this day. I don't tell them what I'm going to do no more. I just get on. I just go do it. And then the next thing you know... When they least expect it, that's when your shit gonna hit the market. When they least expect it, that's when your crypto is gonna start making money for you. When they least expect it, that's when you gonna be with the, the man of your dreams. When they least expect it. But see, if you telling them, oh, I'm gonna get this girl, I'm gonna get, yeah, take your girl around them if you want, dog. Take her, yeah, go out there, holler at the girl, and, and, and tell them how you gonna get her number, and, and, and talk to them about, yeah, man, I'm gonna I'm holler at her, man, I'm gonna I'm a try to engage her and see if it's gonna work out. I hope she don't turn me down. Bro, as soon as your ass get up and walk away, as soon as you turn your head to the left, he gonna be already over there trying to holler at her right when you just told him how bad you want her. This is what people do. It's a Decepticon. Where they do that at, huh? Tell me where they do that at. All fake and illusion. All about competition and power. They are trying to outperform you because they are nobodies. They are nobodies. 
They know that you, they know you great. They know you smart, but they cannot stand to see somebody doing better than them. They want you to do good. They want you to do good. They want you to get your education, but they don't want you to get you your education. Uh, uh, you got a, I mean, you got a degree. All right, all right. Right, come on, let's go. Hey, yeah, let's go get a drink. Let's go get a drink on that. You know, I got a degree too. Yeah, I don't, I don't use it though, but you know, we just like. So when you say you got another one, oh, hey, oh, 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 I'm PhD. So when you say that, I'm PhD. Oh, look, all hell gonna break loose. Listen, y'all got to say a bit with your big bro trend, man. Listen, don't tell them you do all this stuff now. Keep it nonchalant with people, man. Keep it short, simple. You know what I mean? The richest people, the billionaires, the people that got the most money, they, they the less flashiest people, the less flashy. They don't want nobody to know they got that bread because they know exactly how people act, which is why, what I'm teaching you, what I'm telling you. They know people will treat you different when they figure out you got things going on. That's why they be trying to look like bums. Oh. The, world, the most wealthiest, richest people don't ride around in all these fancy and these luxury exotic cars every day so you'll know where they stay at so they can go get robbed. They ain't stupid like that. That's some nigga trying shit. And then, then they be wondering why they, they best friends jealous of them and, 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 and threaten them and all that. Because you you letting the you letting the right hand know what the left hand doing. You don't gotta be a bragger like most of these people out here. And on Instagram, they wanna show you everything about every little second of the day that they doing. They they just attention seekers. They live an Instagram lifestyle, that's all. But when you meet them in real life, they broke. Broken knees, broken knees, broken knees, broken knees. Speaking broken knees, speaking broken knees. Angry, 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 angry. But they in, in Instagram, oh my God, oh my God. On Instagram, uh, uh, I'm professional, I'm a professional. I'm certified. You meet me in real life, like angry monsters. You know why? Because they broke. They ain't really doing no internal work. They just doing, they just want you to see the outer shell. That's how some people is. That's what I'm telling you. That's why you're going to have so many people, bro. They never they never going to give you the spotlight and say, you are smart. Hey, is there anything I can do to help you out? You shining way harder than me. Is there anything I can do to assist you? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. They just going to they just gonna tell you, that, 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 and they practice. Yep. Yeah. And they practice, they look good. They just got it renovated too. Yeah. You need to get yours renovated. Can we just talk about me and just, can you just say thank you one time, please? Stop telling everybody what you know and what you're going to do. And listen, just make it happen, folks. Make it happen. Make it happen. I don't do that no more. I don't even have to talk about what I do. Y'all always hear me pop up with some new shit all the time. Hey, I'm trying doing this too. Yeah. But did I have to tell you? No. I don't need to tell nobody what I'm doing. I'm grown. But see, these fakers out here, they, they always want to throw it up in your face. You have a phone conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Multi-millionaire too. Yeah, I, I got that man. He a multi-millionaire. He took me riding in the back in the seat. Yeah. Oh, he, oh, yeah, he rich. Yeah, he rich. Where he at now, then? Where he at now? Uh, yeah, yeah, well, you know, he, he his wife. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. You just, so you just a side hoe. I get it. But, oh, he rich, though. He made, oh, he got, he got a lot of money. Where your money at, though? Where your money at? Broken knees, broken knees, broken knees, broken knees. Stop telling everybody what you're going to do and just make it happen. That's going to be less problems you got to deal with, with from these Decepticons and these fake attention seeking people who don't want to give you no shine, who don't want to give you no credit, who don't want to acknowledge your name, who don't want to invest into you. You know what I mean? Stop telling them. If you tell them, if you tell them too much about what you're doing and what you're trying to accomplish, you're going to notice you're going to hear crickets. You're like, that a cricket in my house? No, that ain't no real cricket in your house. That's your mind. That's God telling you. You see how they acting, don't you? You see how they acting. Okay? So 
Don't say I didn't tell you this, man. It's your big brother, Trey, man. Move in silence, man. Keep things to yourself. Just be a make it happen person. You feel me? When your album drop, it drop. They didn't have to know. Stop telling people, listen to my music, man. Vouch for me, man. It's my shit hot. It's all right, bro. Man, come on, man. Listen to it, please. Stop telling people what you're doing and just put it out there. Just put it out there. If they want to pick up the book on the shelf, they're going to pick it up. It's not. There's nothing going to stop them from buying your, your merchandise. There's nothing going to stop them. When you walk into Barnes and Nobles and Books a Million, you see 100,000 books in one area. What inspires you to go pick up a book? Nobody can, nobody can tell you. You just go to the book because that's what resonates with you. You attracted to it, period. It's the same thing people going to do to you when you don't tell them about anything that you're doing. They can smell it. They can sense it. You can always tell who's doing better than who ain't doing good. I was just in Whole Foods just recently. I was in Whole Foods just recently. And uh, you can just look around and see who got the money. Because the way they carry themselves, they just happy and smiling. Everybody's, everybody looks in shade. You can just tell who got the money. Then you can tell who ain't supposed to even be in there. They be walking past all the product and the whole like, nah, that's too much. Mm -mm, mm -mm. They got a frown on their face. They be looking angry. But everybody who attract them wealthy, wealthy and, and being rich, are oh, they happy? They happy because they know the law of attraction. They know the law of attraction, and they don't gotta tell everybody how much money they make. You ever been around people that tell you how much money they make? You know what I mean? And you know he's slanging. You know he's doing. He, he's selling drugs. But he's supposed to be big baller though, huh? Illegal baller. Go get you caught up, baller. That's what he gonna do if you keep hanging around him. If, when you're doing good, you ain't got to let nobody know you're doing good. It'll speak for itself. The, you'll see the fruit on the tree. You, somebody ain't got to brag. You ain't got to take a whole bunch of pictures and make people like you and, and think that you're beautiful. It, two, three pictures will tell everything. That's it. Your energy, your vibration. Huh? Where they do that at? Man, it's your big bro trend, man. Remember my words, man. Stop telling everybody what you're going to do and just make it happen. I'm gonna go move. I'm gonna move. So what? They, they gonna say, hey, you ain't getting nothing yet. You ain't move. You ain't going nowhere. They'll tell you straight up, you ain't going nowhere. But when you when you actually pack up them boxes and you they see you putting them clothes in that car, you know what I mean? When they see you with the you haul, they gonna know it's it's real like that. Oh, it, I thought I thought I thought he was just playing. Uh uh. No 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 little grasshopper. I'm not playing. It's your big bro trend, man. Make sure you save this video so it'll motivate you. Anytime you feel like you want to tell somebody what you're doing, run this video back over and remember, just be a make it happen type person. Don't be a talker. Just be a make it happen type of person. That's all you got to be. And the next thing you know, lo and behold, them same Decepticons that counted you out going to be coming right back into your life. I see what you got now. Yeah. Yeah, no, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't. I've been thinking about you. Yeah, you know you've been on my mind. No, they just see all the fruit on your tree. They coming to get some. Where they do that at, though? We ain't giving them none. Make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking my face icon. It's your big bro trend. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you still want to join crypto with us. Oh, my God, it makes me so happy to talk about crypto, man. God, if you still want to be in crypto with us and you want to learn it and you want to get on these Zoom calls that we be on, all right? Sign up right now in the very bottom in the comment section where it say crypto, okay? Sign up right now in the comment section where it says crypto, man. All right? I don't want to. I don't want to not see you in there in the next meeting. Now I gotta see you in there. Let's get this bread in 2022. Digital currency is the new money. Y'all about to wake up. So make sure you click that link. Make sure you join us in crypto. Become our Patreon. It's your big brother. Trend Genius. If you need a session with me, you know how to book it in the comment section as well. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.